Let's um keep it moving. We talking about uh we was talking about me? this Danny Lay situation, right? Yes, sir. And with that, so came... what? So, so let's break down for the people. No, no. What the fuck is going on with Danny Lay, Miss? So Miss Danny Lay, if you don't know who she is, she's the baby's girl. Are, are they in a relationship? Is it so. official? They claim. So. All right. Well, they are doing something together. But she dropped a song titled Yellow Bone, uh, where the rapper teased on the track Yellow Bone. That's what he wants. And she basically wrote, like, along with, she teased that along with the song. People heard the song, and there was another part that we just heard that right. people really didn't like. But even and, even before that, I'm sorry, bro, but even before that, I think, you know, a lot of people are, what I've heard is she can't really call herself a yellow woman because that came from an African descent. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know is, how true that is. She's the Dominican. Dominican. Yeah, Alleged, but yeah. I just, see, I didn't even know that. I can see how, but I didn't know that yellow bone well, came from us, basically. Well, you know, so I guess it's and that. When I say us, I guess, black people. I, I guess it's that line because you know, Dominicans associate themselves with African American. Mm. They some sometimes. Some, but, some, can, some, but can you? Some, but can you? Some, but can you, also, all, can you can I would you, say Puerto Ricans more so. But can you associate Dominicans? Some, can you associate some, yeah. yourself with us if you aren't us? Yeah. Well, well what changed okay. the pigment? I think it's yeah. like you got to understand ethnics versus race and like what is determines yeah. what makes you black yeah. versus what language you speak. You know what I mean? Just because you speak Spanish doesn't mean. Yeah, because it's all type right, of um, right, right. Um, yeah, it's Dominicans. Like, you have it's, black it's, Dominicans. You have, yeah. you have and all also, like, you got Costa Ricans. You got like all type of, you know, uh, what they would call Latinas, like what they call them Afro Latinas mm -hmm. or, you like know. Amer like Amer Latina. Exactly. Yeah. Julian, you're Afro Latina? Puerto Rican. Wow. Oh, see? see. Oh, yeah. So it's Lex. Okay. See, like, and they're black. You can't tell them they're not black. You know mm. what I'm saying? So again, just speaking to where Alex come from, it just, you know, just doing your research and knowing where you come from and knowing what, because like you could, for example, you know, sometimes in certain countries, you know, they get the same, just like America, they get the same. Y'all are black. They're really the Hispanics. So right. we treat you guys different, even though they're from the same island. But because they're darker skinned, they get the same treatment that us. And only thing I will say to that, I don't know what her dad, I don't know what her parents look like. I think people did say they seen her parents and they were like, they're, they're very much Hispanic. However, I don't know who her grandfather may be dark skinned. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know. So I can't really say she's not entitled to call herself a red bone because she doesn't, because if she does associate herself with African-American descent. Okay. Yeah. So I think when it comes to just the Danny Lay situation, I yeah. feel like a lot of people were upset because she did... The moment you compare, like the moment you you put yourself over top of another race or make yourself, um, what did she say? So we want to play the song. Yeah, let's yeah, play the song. Play uh, song. yeah, I actually can find it. Um, you had it right. I had it. I had okay. it. I had it. I mean, um, let me go to it. I'll play the song. Um. Everybody's like, hmm. Yeah, this song is not even right. good. Let's start not there. Cheatham, <laughs> not Cheatham cooking over there. <laughs> not. That looks a little stiff. <laughs> Riding around with COVID. <laughs> There you go. Right so there. I think that's I think that was the 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 real problem is when she said he need a lit chick. Mm -hmm. So he had to switch switch, switch switch. And I guess because she's with the baby and he has a dark skinned child, he has he had a dark skinned baby woman, mother. baby yeah. mother. So it's like okay, so you're saying that to to upgrade, you had to go with a light skinned Ooh, chick. Child. And I think that's where a lot of people looked at it wrong. It's like Ooh, that's child. where you fucked up. At. And then she didn't make it better because she then went on social media and says, why can't I make a song for my light skinned baddies? Why do y'all think I'm hating on other colors when there are millions of songs speaking on all type? Why y'all so sensitive and taking it so personal? Because of the, so, you need a lit, like, it's like you, so, you made right, the, right. You, you did that, yeah, right? So yeah. I, at first I didn't understand, but yeah. you said, he needed he somebody lit. lit. So in order to be with somebody lit, he had, he had to have switch, somebody light skinned. To a yellow bone. So this is what I will say. So, okay. So before I heard that part, right. And I just seen her quote where she's like, why can't I make a song for light skin baddies? And you know, you, you listen to songs like Beyonce, that's like brown skin girl. They're empowering. They're just, but it's an empowering song, right? It's, it's empowering. 
when you switch the narrative from empowering to belittling, mm -hmm. then I think we're talking about something different. When I heard her say that, I just felt like you stupid. That was stupid. That was very stupid of you. Only because I also feel like with a platform and being an influencer as you are, and you're a big enough artist to know, like at the end of the day, we're still in the most detri time, detrimental time of race right now. You feel what I'm saying? So to even play into that division, to me, you have no self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that part either. Um, and it's also just true. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like that is so belittling, especially with the dark-skinned man, with yeah. dark-skinned little girls, but you're gonna go try to play stepmommy later. So how do you translate that message to them? Like saying like, you know what I'm saying? like. If he how do you with, tell him that uh, right. if he's, he he got a switch switch to get yeah. how do you lit because he need a beautiful. yellow bone? How do you like, tell them that they're beautiful and they're lit? But, but you're saying a man, but a man saying. might switch on you to go be with somebody litter because she yellow bone. I don't understand that right. logic. And like, I think that's, that's where a lot cool. of people said it was messed up because if yeah. you look at I didn't even it's this this whole conversation made me look at it so many mm -hmm. ways, right? Because like I didn't even understand the definition of colorism until I looked at it, right? right. So we were talking about colorism and, and the definition is prejudice uh, or discrimination, especially within a racial or ethnic group uh, favoring people with lighter skin over a darker skin. That directly is colorism, like literally like to the definition. So I'm like, damn. So of course I will understand why a darker, uh, mm -hmm. darker skin woman would be more upset. As they should though. Yeah. I, I think as they should, like you want... See, the thing is about I don't think that some artists realize is you want all your fans. You don't care if they light, they white, they brown, they blue, they purple. And you want that brown support because, as you know, we make this dollar go round. So my thing is, how dare you do that and still expect the same support of the of the many brown skinned women, dark skinned women that were supporting you at a time? How do you not expect to lose that? But even deeper than that, right, it's crazy because if you look at the history of our country, Bro. right, like it's it's. It's fucked up because we have we can't sit up here and act like we haven't seen. That's why we have a definition yeah. of colorism because yep. we have seen like yep. people leaning towards yep. the lighter skin, yep. women, the fair skin people. Yep. At, at, like they get all the opportunities. They, they, they set us apart. They and, divided us. And like, also, they divide you know, us, and it's like we're dividing each it, other. It, it's even already a stigma that um, I think like before you know, since Santana had this backlash of when basically she said that black women, black men. Don't quote me, it's not verbatim, but basically black men liking Latino women more over black women because they're more, you know, catering to their men mm -hmm. and they do all these things to their men. And it's like, why play into that hand? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like she's blatantly saying, like, I mean, you get what I'm saying? Like, and I just don't. So what I will I say, for that. you know, I'm going I'm to go out on a limb yeah. on this. I know a lot of people might, might not agree, but I think, you know, what happens is we got to look at our history. Right, I don't know what she said after the tweet. I don't know if she came back and apologized and said she was wrong. But a lot of times, it's I different. haven't seen an apology yet. Okay, am I saying it's me different? personally? If okay, because it's, it's a she difference. Meant what she it's, said. it's difference between being ignorant. Yeah. Like it's okay to be ignorant as long as you're seeking the truth like, and you're seeking knowledge. But when you're purposely ignorant, then that's when it's a problem. What I will say is just from because I don't know if she's apologized mm -hmm. just from the surface level, right? Uh -huh. I think when it comes to this situation, it comes to a back to our history. We've got to look at how, yeah. we, how we were raised, right? So even before how we were raised, you got to understand, white people separated us, mm -hmm. period, right? So if you even want to go to slavery, right? white people raped our woman, then they became, they went from a field nigger, per se, to a house nigger, yep. right? Now, guess what? Guess what that did to our community? It yep. divided us. They divided us. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the field niggers yeah. are now jealous of the house niggas because why they want to be in preferential treatment they want to be in the house as well mm -hmm. yeah. right they getting special treatment one and now it's like they might be thinking like of course i'm not a slave and i can't mm -hmm. i can't put myself in that situation but i'm just i'm just thinking that maybe a slave would say yo i'm tired i'm getting hurt maybe if i was raped or became a house mm -hmm. nigga now i'm in the house and you see where that fucks us up as a culture now it's like we're taking one fucked up situation to put ourselves in another fucked up situation because yeah. of some what somebody else did to us yeah. and that's just fucked up and so to add to that i would say it comes down to educating yourself yeah exactly because what what she said like it shows that you really don't understand the history right. and that's like, what i was saying that's basically what i was and, going and, at. i was saying just that to from, even, the, from the i'm sorry from the book from the beginning, this is what we saw. So that's what yeah. we know. So if I'm just saying, because I don't know if it's been an apology, but I'm just saying from the surface level, when I look at this, I say, let's give her a little bit of grace because we don't, well, she's not black. So I yeah. can't say that. Yeah. Right. But it's like, I'm just saying, because I am black, it's like, 
damn, I can see how somebody well, would be I wanna she's go, Dominican. I wanna, so that's the whole conversation. Well, in I want to go itself. a little damn. deeper too. And you know, I just want to like, I'm going to just put it out there. Even in society today, and even when I was a little younger, you know, it was always light skinned women thought they were better than brown skin and African American women. Because and of what we were taught. Yeah, because right? of what we were taught. And the thing is, I don't I don't want to call it pure ignorance because I know that she knows that. Mm, okay. I know that she knows that I, I she's seen other dark skin or brown skin women be treated differently around her. I got you. And as a brown skin you know, female, I personally, so just to get a little transparent, right? So I have a best friend of 20 years. I've known her since I was, damn, not damn, 21 years. I knew her since I was eight years old. Don't do that math, fuck y'all. So <laughs> I knew her since I was eight years old. She's white and she's black. Uh, she looks, uh, historically when she was younger, she used to look a, a Hispanic, right? Um, and we went to the same school did everything together and there was plenty of times that she either got treated better than I do or I even had people say because she was light skinned she looked better than I did and as we grew up like you know what I'm saying like even to current you know day like so you know and this is just transparent I love her to death she knows that we you know we talk all the time you know when I went to go visit her she moved to Arizona which is predominantly a white state you get what I'm saying she moved to Arizona and when I went out there she, it was her and her other mixed friends and they're all light skin long hair you know I go out there brown skin long red hair I'm already and they made so many comments that they don't even they're so used to being able to do it that they don't pay attention to where they do it it was just a lot of comments like oh okay um for example you know typically browner skin when you look on a shade browner to darker we have different features like mm -hmm. nose lips, lips mm -hmm. ass like whatever it was so many comments on my features and like my butt and my my nose and you know they are more white so they have smaller noses and like and it was almost it was so many times they mentioned it that it got offensive for me and this is last year mm -hmm. and it was so much i called jay and i cried about it because it was like they were almost treating me like I was like the token black friend. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So I don't really ever want to hear that light, lighter toned or fair skinned people don't know the difference because they do mm. and they have seen it. It's just that because they don't get that treatment, they don't have to acknowledge it because it's not them. And I'm pretty sure she's seen this firsthand. I right. know so many women. There's I, honestly, I can't count one black woman that I don't know today that will say that that's never happened to them. Mm. And that's a problem. That's extremely bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so it's kind of like, when does somebody step up and say, like, that's not right? You know what I'm saying? But it's almost also like, just to speak in your defense, they, it's so common to them that even their tone right. is common to them. Like, how they address it like, is normal to them. Like, because it's almost like they know, like, of course, like, I'm light skinned. Like, of course, it's light. I'm right. Has like, you know what I mean? Has anyone or have, Either y'all yeah. ever heard the saying like "you're pretty for a dark skin girl"? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah. Uh, like, like we've heard you, that tons of times. So like those are those are certain sayings yeah. and things like that that shows it. Like your your beauty cannot be like because your features because of your skin tone like you can't just be pretty. Yeah, you're you pretty because you're for or just being pretty. I, I've gotten pretty for a black girl. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like it's weird. Like you know, and having a my daughter is very light skin. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, my girl too. Yeah, exactly. So. You know, it's weird because so because I dealt with that, I had a and this is another transparent moment because I dealt with that. Like when I got older, I always pride myself. I always said I want a brown skin son like I want my son brown. Right. I had a light skinned daughter. My daughter's beautiful, but I didn't realize subconsciously. And this is accountability on brown skin people. My daughter was like, why do you want a brown skin son? Mm. She's light skin. You get what I'm saying? But systematically. That's programmed in my head because as well. You have to fight and back And I had to now. explain to her, no, 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 like, you're beautiful. Like, I love my light-skinned daughter, you know, and I had to explain to her because she even deals with people calling people, her white girl. Exactly, right. Wow. And that's what yeah, yeah, like, I was about to go. Yeah, and I think, like, I think what happens is because we are already separated, right, that's when we separate each other. Each other. And, I, and that's why, I, like, I understand you say, like, yeah. they do know better, and I want to hold her accountable, but at the same time, if we're looking at our history and our past, they we almost have to don't just know look, better. You get what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, yo, we were separated, so that's what we think is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. So growing up, we separate each other. 
mm-hmm. not knowing any better, right? So mm-hmm. like we have dark skinned people who make fun of light skinned people. Yeah, like you same. even said you like yeah. we have we have dark skinned people who wouldn't date light skinned people because yeah. of whatever. Well, like I was telling like you guys like the other day, well yesterday, that like even growing up, like my dad's dark skinned, my brothers were all brown skinned, and they would make fun of lighter skinned men. Like mm-hmm. so it was almost like as I was growing up, it was like, oh, light skinned boys are sissies or they're bitches or they're gay or all these, you know, tones. Right. So when I grew up, I've dated light skinned men, but I never took them serious mm. just to be honest. But that's because and that's just saying that neither side is right mm-hmm. at all, right, because right. the fact that you can make a take away the masculinity from a man due to his skin tone is not okay and that's why you I know said, what i'm saying that's but, not okay but that's why i said let's hold her accountable right yeah but let's also have some grace but because yeah. of our past right? right right and that's why i right. say when it comes to ignorance is different yeah when you are cho- when you're choosing to know your history when you're choosing to understand and listen then you're you you might can get a pass for being right. ignorant at one time but if you're ignorant and you're intentionally ignorant right. therefore after then you're right. just you're just ignorant to right. be ignorant and no you don't get and no it's pass. almost like i feel like she tried to use the crutch like why can't i make a song for the light-skinned baddies kind of like how beyonce made brown skin girl right. but it's because her her unknown ignorance that she doesn't acknowledge promoted it in another right. way versus like, in an empowering way. You get what I'm saying? And I and I think it all goes back to educating yourself. Yeah. Like really understanding that like the brown paper bag test. You know, why did that exist? Meaning like you're going to to enter into a building, they have to put your skin tone matched up against a brown and if you were lighter than it, you could go in. You know, mm-hmm. and that was division. Let's say we all of us go to a store and yeah. put it into today's times. Yeah. Our entrance is determined by yeah. our skin and, tone. Bro, it's crazy yeah. I just talked to Amaya about this, right? And it's it's weird because I, I sat down and I had this conversation with her and like she was saying, you know, she has been teased because she was light skinned, like people mm-hmm. calling her white and things like that. And I was like, you know what's crazy? This shows when it when it came down to the uh what it, what is the, the 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 paper, the contract that, that that was written up and he said if you follow this, then it will Oh the Constitution? Well, nah. Yeah. Nah, um, when he the, basically said, laws? Um, the, uh, if this a Jim Crow laws, Jim Crow laws. It's crazy right. because it's almost mm-hmm. like they set this up intensely, right? Yeah, they, they, they said they, it will work they, for thousands of yeah, years. It's like if they it separated works, it'll us, work right? for so, thousands of so years. So now we separate each other, right? And and my point is We're conditioned at this point. Yeah. Right. My point is now look at look at us. It's like, yo, dark skinned people this, light skinned people this. But at the end of the we day, all we all black. black. No, right. And I was about to say at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, back in the day. They still ain't give a fuck. If you had one percent black in you, yeah, you, you were black. considered black, and you Period. couldn't have Period. you couldn't have the rights that other white right. people had. Exactly. But even down to Danny, look at us, look at us. A Dominican, even if she doesn't associate, or people saying she's Spanish or whatever, motherfucker, y'all was treated. We're the minority here, okay? At the end of the day, y'all, the fact that. Y- that would even be divided in that way. Like, my nigga, we were treated all the same. Like, we were all slaves. We were all slaves. All like, slaves. N- 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 nobody had the privileges. You ain't, your people ain't had the privileges. We ain't had the privileges, nigga. We all, you know what I'm saying? In the same boat. So, I think she you know, just, she should have just apologized you know, and just, you know, like, yeah, I, you know, I, expect, I didn't know anybody. No, this is what I will say. At this point, I feel like that's where people's PR teams don't do a good job um, because I feel like if somebody's not in the background educating her like, whoa, I see where you were trying to go, but let me educate you because you need to understand this or you need to understand that. And, you know, and I do have a big problem, which I'm sure a lot of black females have is people who do this and still will turn around and date a dark skinned man. I don't understand it. Mm. If this is the situation, stop dating our kind then. Stop recro- uh, don't know Re- uh, procreating yeah. with our kind because at that point, you're a walking contradiction. 